I'm right. saying that school board in Virginia, yeah, uh, school board names. meeting, all the kids pranked him <laughs> with the same things. That was great. I appreciate that, Mike. Very good. All right, the nine and nine, Pat. Uh, number nine, we hope you enjoyed the long holiday weekend, but chances are it wasn't half as much fun as a visit to the Baked Bean Museum of oh, Excellence. Wow. It's the world's only museum dedicated to baked beans, which is a real shame. There really should be more. Yeah. And it's a, yeah, it's, it's across the pond, as oh. they say, in Wales. Yeah. A guy named Barry Kirk owns the museum. He also holds a world record. Really? In 1986, yeah, Barry Kirk sat naked in a bathtub full of baked beans for 100 hours. That's right up your alley, yeah. Mr. Bath Time over there. 100 yeah. hours. <laughs> Uh, out of that bath, a superhero was born. Kirk turned his apartment into a museum and started calling himself Captain Beanie. Hmm. Uh, he raised lots of money, money for charities, too, by running marathons and donations from the many visitors to his Bean Museum. Wow, good for mm. him. Wow. Mm. That's dedication. You need to yeah. have 100 hours straight sitting in beans oh, in the tub? God. Wow. See, negative Nancy again. Sorry. You guys out doing something great, right. following his passion, and she just yeah. has to poo-poo it. Well, the thing that's also interesting is <laughs> that... Beans poo-poo it. <laughs> Larry wouldn't like that, Patrick. Yeah. Well, Larry's not, not here, here today. Here. <laughs> All right, number eight. Uh, some high-end resorts in Jamaica and elsewhere are embracing the idea of mushroom retreats. These are vacation packages where people go specifically to take some psychedelic mushrooms under the care of a guide to help them go on a, a journey of uh, self-discovery. Uh, the retreats can last five days or more, and the idea is to relax and eat good food and have a vacation. But there are also group and individual sessions where people take the right amount of mushrooms for their weight and their size. Many studies in the past decade have found profound psychological benefits from mushrooms in proper doses and under the care of an expert. Some worry that people are jumping in without knowing how much to take and in what environment. So mm. plan first. And hey. I'm watching that show, uh, what's it, Nine Perfect Strangers, mm -hmm. about this. Oh, is that what Nicole they do? Is that what it is? Oh. Yeah. Oh. And? I, didn't, I didn't ruin any plot Way points there. But no, I didn't blow anything. But uh, it's just it was a bunch a, of dope smokers on no, vacation. No, is that it's what it the, is? It's a retreat, and uh, Nicole Kidman's this guru, and she. Oh. I'm not gonna say anything else. Huh? Does You're a big fan of going on a journey. Oh, oh, I think we have oh, one of the cast members. Everybody's on a journey. Regina Hall. Every nobody wants to be on your. You're not on a journey. Lewis and Clark went on a journey. You're on a journey. Shut up. Number seven. Get ready for it, a 70s vibe is coming, and come this fall and winter, you'll see a lot of embroidery from jeans to skirts, lots of denim jackets, which is whimsical floral or old school really, patches. that's back again, huh? Just like you wore in junior high, remember you get the patches yeah. and the jean jacket? What's that? Won't take much for you to sew a little something on your current jeans, like a cute patch here and there. Mm. The key is cohesiveness. Oh yeah. Keep it simple. Oh. Too many would be overkill. There's a fine mm -hmm. line between mm -hmm. trendy and tacky. Did I take your read, Paul? No, 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 yes. Yeah. Okay. It's good to well, get those around to everybody. Thank you. Wow. You did a nice job with that. Thank you. Thank yeah. you. Yeah. All right, number six. If you're looking for a cocktail to kick off the fall season, look no further than the Whiskey Apple Cider Punch. Oh. We found dozens <laughs> of recipes online, so we won't bother you with the specific recipes, but every one of them includes this. Three cups of bourbon yep. right. and apple cider. It's your option for your tailgate or bonfire next to, or you know, whenever you want to do it. But I guess it's like there's all kinds of additions to those two things. But mm. that's yeah. a good starting point. Cider yeah, and delicious. bourbon. Can't go wrong. I've never been able to find a mixed drink I can uh, stick with. That might be yours when you get uh, home this afternoon. Bourbon's a little. Uh. Well, throw some cider in. Yeah. What's the difference between the bourbon and the scotch and the whiskey? Scotch is only where made in Scotland. Yeah, where it's made. Oh. oh, yeah, that's where Ray usually tells me that. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh, anyway. Go on, Patrick. I didn't mean to get oh, a sidebar there. No, no, no. Uh, number oh, five. Well, Look at this abandoned amusement park in Japan. Oh, gosh. It's called Gulliver's Kingdom. Ooh. Uh, based on the Jonathan Swift story. 
It was built with government money back in 1997. Politicians thought it would be a great stimulus yeah. to the economy of the area near Mount Fuji, but it only lasted 10 years. One of the banks backing the park collapsed, so they just walked away from the park and closed it up. What? Now it's mostly visited by tourists, skateboarders, and uh, graffiti artists. Wow. Hey, that seems really fun. Yeah. yeah. Unflattering angle here. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> huh. Well, that's too bad. Yeah. Number four, a lot of us love our dogs, but uh, we don't have the talent or the oh, patience you look at that. to devote an entire tree to them. So check out this work of art in Tura, Australia. The owners of this property took a chainsaw and carved images of their dogs into an old cypress tree. And if you're wondering, the, the dogs include Burke and Deerhound, Bruno, a terrier, and Tank, a husky. Isn't that nice? It is yeah. nice. That's love. It is nice. That love. is love. You can do that with one of the trees in your side yard, Robin. Oh, I'm looking your for dogs. a hobby. I do yeah. need a new hobby. Get your chainsaw the out. Mm. That chainsaw, though, I that could get tricky. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You'll be just fine. I'm afraid I'll hurt myself there, but all right. You'll figure it out. Number three, if you're a new or expecting parent, you like to spend a lot of money, this might be the stroller for you. It's called a Jules. J-O-O-L-Z. All right. It's Dutch. First off, call it a push chair or a pram. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. If you want to sound a little European. The higher end jewel strollers cost about 800 bucks. Ooh. Won't see any bright plastic colors or patterns like a lot of American baby products. Uh, these strollers come in subtle colors. Leather handle. Seat can be adjusted so that uh, either the baby faces the person pushing the stroller or, the, or looks forward, can lay flat for naps. Plus, uh, if you're in a restaurant, it can go upright mm. and turn into like a little high chair. These are like the all-time scams. I, right? you like know what, Clint, what happened to the old canvas hammock stroller that you push your kid around, from right? the Walmart, <laughs> I'm telling you what, I used to make fun of Paul back is when we were having kids, he like, you know, no changing table, yeah. no stroller. Mm -hmm. But the further removed you are from it, you don't need all that what? stuff. And you don't need an $800 stroller. And you don't no. need you get one at the Target yeah. for 60 bucks, and it right. works just as well. But it's, at that time in your life, you're you like are stressed. so like, oh, I don't love my, my child. child. Yeah. I gotta yes. do the best I can for a stroller that you use three times. It's crazy. Uh, it's crazy. Yeah. yeah. But head know, on over to the jewels. There's grocery carts in the parking lot. <laughs> yeah, yourself. those jewels, yeah. not that jewels. Find one right. without a sensor that yeah, goes right. off when you remove it from the yeah. parking lot. Yeah. Or if, you know, there's plenty of. Ways. And this Home is tied into the fact. Let me just say, coming up in my list, I have some tips that I have learned that people, parents, don't tell you for every stage of your kid's mm -hmm. life. Now that I have one in college, all these nuggets I've learned over I'm the good. years that'll right. make it so you don't have to feel guilty. Good. Good. So that's coming up. Because guilt supersedes guilt everything huge. when it comes to parenting. All right, number two. According to Rotten Tomatoes, this is the worst movie of all time. Two deadly agents. ID. A former FBI agent named Jeremiah X. Sworn enemies. Seven. Are tracking it down. We have acquisition located. Who will find it? I have a situation, and you're my only option. This woman it's Ballistic, X versus Seaver. It's from 2002, starring Antonio Banderas and Lucy Liu. Right. It is not the only movie with a score of zero on Rotten Tomatoes, but it's the one people have been the most vocal about. One person said, bang your head against the wall for an hour and a half or watch this movie. Same effect. Yeah. Mm. But really? that seems harsh. It does. It doesn't look good, but... Well, I mean, no, I feel does. like I've seen worse. At least there's right. high production value there. Right. right. Anyway. A lot of eye candy, yeah. right? Yeah. That Antonio yeah. Banderas, you can't lovely. take your eyes off that <laughs> guy. Uh, number one, we have a huge thanks to filmmaker and screenwriter Todd Spence for this next clip. Uh, you should follow him, he makes horror movies, so this makes sense. It's If Pretty Woman starred Willem Dafoe instead. Just leave it all up to me. <laughs> 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 so, do you have a wife, girlfriend? <laughs> no hands, no hands. <laughs> walk, walk, walk. Just oh leave it 
Gosh, it's so creepy how they can do that. Yeah. Wowie. <laughs> <laughs> so, do you have a wife? Oh, wow. They can't improve no, on a classic, no, but I don't know. Boy, that'll give you it's nightmares right there. You think it's made it to him? You think he's seen this? Well, he has well. to have, right? I mean, it's, I've seen this all over the place. I don't know. <laughs> That's pretty Things cool. I think about. All right, it's a night at nine. Hmm.